Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about max pooling layer in convolution neural network. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about convolution layer in convolution neural network. This is a continuation class. Please follow our playlist from the beginning so that you will have a better understanding of the complete deep learning concepts. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, let's take an example and understand what max pooling layer will do and after that we will understand what's the uses of max pooling layer let's take an example the example which we consider here is this is the example which we consider so let's assume that this is our image it is 4 by 4 image on this lay on this image we have to apply max pooling what's the max pooling means so here we will take a max pool of size 2 by 2 we can take any size 3 by 3 4 by 4 any size usually they will take 2 by 2 size so what's max pooling means uh, we will place this here out of this on the image 2 5 7 8 2 by 2 pixels uh, the first uh, pre, uh, end is considered out of these four pixels what's the maximum pixel value we have 8 is the maximum value that is what we selected as the input uh, output and we will place it in the image uh, output uh, so 8 is considered here next we will move this to 2 stride is equal to 2 means we will move to 2 positions to the right stride is equal to 1 means we have to move 1 position to the right so here we will consider the input is 2 by 2 that's why by default in keras it will take it will consider stride is equal to 2 so that's so we are taking stride is equal to 2 so now the next position is a 4 5 9 10 out of this what's the maximum value 10 is considered out of this after that we have to move stride is equal to 2 means we have to go two steps down 8 6 11 14 out of this maximum is 14 we will consider it as 14 next stride is equal to 2 that's why two steps to the right 13 12 15 16 out of this 16 is the maximum that's why we are taking maximum as 16 so after applying max pooling the output image which we got is this is the image so 8 10 14 16 is our output image that is how we will apply max pooling on our images so when we will apply this max pooling layer first we will understand that then we will understand what's the uses of this max pooling layer when we apply max pooling is in our last class we discussed that this is our actual RGB image after on this image we are applying a filter for identifying vertical edges after that we will get an output of 4 by 4 image this is the example which we considered last time so that that's why we are using the same example so this f1 is helping us in identifying the vertical edges f2 is identifying the horizontal edges so that is how we applied convolution layer on the images the output which we got from convolution layer is this is the output on this image we have to apply max pooling layer after that the, after applying f2 we got a 4 by 4 image on this we have to apply max pool after applying max pool we will get a new image that is considered as the output to the next layer that is how we will apply max pooling after the convolution layer so what's the uses we will get we by using this let's take an example so that we will understand better how what's the uses of max pooling layer the example which we consider here is uh, let's take a uh, consider this image uh, on this image if you apply max pooling uh, with let's two by two take this zero element take this zero element uh, here the maximum is zero like that if you apply max pool on all the pixels if you take the stride is equal to two the output image which we got here is this is the image so what we understand by looking at this example so the image size we reduced the image size to half that is the benefit of max pooling we are not losing our features here we are not losing the shape of the item that is present in the image without losing the shape we are getting a we are reducing the size of image uh, why we need to reduce the size of image that is what in our first class we discussed that the problem with the images is uh, computationally costly if you reduce the size of number of pixels to reduce the computation uh, what's happening here after a Applying the max pooling we are scaling down the image means we are reducing the image without losing the shape of the item that is present we have to identify in this image so means we are not losing the edges edge shapes that is what we consider it as features based on the features we are identifying whether this is digit 4 
digit 7 whether this is cat dog based on the features we will identify so that's why max pooling is helping us in reducing the size that is one of the importance of max pooling layer and one more advantage that it is providing max pooling is it is solving the small invariance so, so small invariance problem let's understand what small invariance small invariance means first we have to understand what's invariance then how max pooling is helping us in solving the small it's helping us in solving small invariance problem so invariance means uh, this is our image on this image we are having a digit 5 so the digit 5 is on the left hand side of the image uh, let's take one more image this is the second image on this image we are having digit 5 on the right side of the image so what happens here the 5 digit 5 is changing the location that is what invariance means even though the digit is changing the location our convolution neural network has to identify the object the item present in the image so for small invariance our max pooling is helping us in identifying that how that max pooling is helping us that we will discuss in a minute the discussion about invariance and how convolution layer and max pooling is helping us in solving this large invariance problem we will discuss that in our next classes for now we will have a basic idea small small idea about what in small invariance means how max pooling is helping us in identifying that small invariance problem Problem. this knowledge will help you a lot in understanding our next class let's take the small invariance example let's take example here on this image we are having digit 4 orange color is having one digit 4 digit 4 like that small invariance means there is a small change in the position see with the blue color we have written that there is a, another 4 with the blue color it's moving a bit to the right side assume that uh, here there is a change in one pixel that is what small invariance means uh, now let's understand how this is uh, identifying max pooling is helping us in identifying this small invariance problem let's take this example let's take this is a image on this image we are having a digit 4 if you apply convolution layer on this image uh, so in, in the beginning we are, we are applying convolution layer let's assume that uh, here we are applying a filter what's the filter we are using here is to identify the vertical edges the filter which we use it here is we are identifying the vertical edges on this image we applied that filter and uh, the output which we got from the convolution layer is this is the output wherever there is a vertical edge we are getting 255 value this example we clearly observed in our previous classes hoping that you already know how we got this uh, 255 values means there is a edge here vertical edge is identified on our image so on this image we are applying max pooling so how we apply the max pooling 2 by 2 on this four values which one we will consider 0 will be taken as the output next to 2 by 2 on this we will consider 255 as the maximum value so we will take the output as the 255 next to 2 position 2 by 2 0 will be considered 2 by 2 like that we will apply max pooling layer on this image now consider next one more image here the same the, the value this image is considered on this image we are having a digit 4 but this digit 4 is uh, having a small invariance when compared to this image uh, one pixel move to the right that is what small invariance means uh, not only one pixel for understanding purpose we are saying it as one pixel it is moving to the right on this image we are applying the filter f1 uh, which is uh, helping us to identify the vertical edges uh, the output which we got after convolution is this is the output uh, so what's the difference we observed here 255 came in the fourth line here in the third line uh, but when we apply max pooling layer on this image uh, on this image the, ma uh, the output that we got from the max pooling layer is same for both the images uh, why we are getting that see here 2 by 2 0 0 0 0 the 0 is taken as the output on this 2 by 2 255 is considered as the output here also 255 is considered here also 255 is considered that's why we are getting the same output of of the max pool layer 
that is how it is providing small invariance even though there is a small invariance means uh, there is a change in position of the digit uh, our max pooling layer is giving the same output so that uh, our convolution neural network will identify it as digit 4 that is how it is helping us uh, hope you understand this concept in our next class we will discuss about how that uh, large invariance is provide uh, is solved using convolution and uh, max pooling layer hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you